field has reached the gate. Favoritism will land with either the one ahead of the game or the two Camargo. Mac Pan Dowdy holding up the procession just a bit. Scoots in. Keep attacking, last up. Are you ready for a Saturday night of racing? The first of seven, here we go. Kelly Mulvaney to send them on their mile. And they're off and running. Ahead of the game, takes the initiative away from the barrier with Mac Pandowdy exiting rapidly as well. There's Keep Attacking, forwardly placed underneath Juan Molina, up there positioned up into a joint third with Mac Pandowdy. Last horse around turn number one is Carnival Conquest, and Victor Balin will settle about 10 lengths off the front runners. This happened to be the top two board wagering favorites. Ahead of the game nearest us, Covering that one's every stride is Camargo. These two vie for position as they go past the five furlong. It's keep attacking while maintaining the status in third, then well back to Mac Pandowdy, and still last is Carnival Conquest as they go towards the half mile. Carnival Conquest has about 12 lengths to make up. The leader by about a half a length now is ahead of the game in Victor Santiago. Camargo, first time over this track, still out there hounding the front runners every stride in second. Keep attacking is now challenging. Mac Pandati, who had to back out of there for third and fourth. Carnival Conquest still way, way back there in a different area code. They ran the first half mile in 47 and four fifths of a second. They go to the two furlong to go mark. Ahead of the game, stretches out that lead to a length better than Camargo, who fights for everything. Keep attacking at lofty odds is gaining up a little bit on the second place. Camargo, who now falters, that leaves ahead of the game all the way home and is gone. Ahead of the game, a heady ride by Victor Santiago, well meant, will win as he pleased. By almost 10 in the end, Camargo maintains second from a vastly improved Keep Attacking, then Mac Pandowdy and Carnival Conquest. Race one now official. Ahead of the game, paid 440, 260 on two dollar tickets to win or place. Camargo 280 to place. No show wagers with the field of five. Second race, no changes. Six furlongs to distance. Phillies and mares, 3,200 the claiming tag, non-winners of a race thus far in 2022 or non-winners of four races in their careers. That comes up at 7.56.
Entering the winner's enclosure, race number one, victorious for ahead of the game and jockey Victor Santiago. Co-owned by Charles Ritter and Scott Becker. Scott is also the trainer of ahead of the game. Halo Couture. Arch Flyer. Seven Mares. At six furlongs, our starter Kelly Mulvaney heads to the button, flag is up. And they're off. Perfect beginning, a bit of a tangled web shortly after the break for Launch Away and Halo Couture. They couldn't get out of one another's way, it seems. Flying away, per usual. Meet Me in St. Louis has company in that of Quiet Drama and Templuna. They swoop underneath and go right, take that lead away from the early breaker. Meet Me in St. Louis back third. Rushing up. Launch away, now has that rail. Doville Mist is prominent and moving up to greet Meet Me in St. Louis, who's up there in that scrum. Arch Flyer is widest of all, probably a great spot to be, and trailing all of the other six in front is Halo Couture, but not without hope. This thing is wide open and a blanket would proverbially carry and cover all of the runners. On the lead, a foursome. Spit out is Meet Me in St. Louis. Here's Templuna, nearest the inside fence. Quiet drama is gaining. The split comes from Doville Mist, who means business. Arch Flyer down the center of the course. Nothing coming from far, far back. It's still Templuna. It's still quiet drama. Doville Mist could go by them all, and looks like she will do it. Quiet drama, deep stretch. Doville Mist in front. Quiet drama second, Templuna was third, then Arch Flyer faded to fourth. Doville missed first. Five, quiet drama second. Templuna was third, and then the seven, Arch Flyer fourth. Four, five, one, seven. Race two now official. Your winner, Doville Miss, paid 11.65.83.20. Quiet Drama, 4.20 for place, 3.60 to show, and the one Templuna, 2.80. 4.5, dollars exactus, $77. Coming back to greet his daughter and wife is jockey Victor Balin aboard Doville Mist. Owned by Hold the spending. Rare action attack, favoritism six to five, and present of hero. Mares at one mile in the gate. And they're off. Hitting the ground sprinting is Temrick from stall five. Going to try to cross and clear in front of a headstrong rejoice and be glad who now moves outward. Gaining ever so slightly is Louis P to capture the lead and run away from this field early. Temrick will find herself on the far outside in second. 
Next is Rare Action Attack, your race time favorite, well positioned along the fence. Next and fourth is Hold the Spending, five lengths to make up. A couple further back to Bows and Lace and Rejoice and Be Glad. They run a joint fifth together. And out the back is late running Present of Hero underneath Julio Felix, trailing by at least double digits off the speed that is Louis P. 25 seconds flat for the opening quarter mile for Louis P. Still out there, a happy-go-lucky leader she is, out by two from Rare Action Attack in second. Temrick still third, fourth is Hold the Spending, about seven lengths from the leader, who's wandered right away, half mile Bet up she did, 48 and four-fifths of a second. Look at her go. Louis P, Javier Tavares out by six and widening. Hold the spending, takes over second from your favorite who bows out. Bows and Lace is gaining ever so slightly. Nothing from far back. Rejoice and be glad. Tamrick has flattened out and out of last is present of Hero. A hand ride so far for Louis P. Three quarters in 114 flat. Louis P now hitting the runner's wall just a bit. Has a case of the wobbles, but is home free. And Louis P with Javier Tavares wanders right away and cruises to the easiest of wins on the front. Will win by about 10. Bows and Lace second, present of Hero was third, and then hold the spending. Race number three now official. Into the winner's enclosure, winner of tonight's third, number two, Louis P. and jockey Javier Tavares, owned by Emilio Herregui, trained by J.K. Wilburn. Louis P. is a six-year-old daughter of well-positioned Emily Lane. Emily Lane, not yet. Moves in, and now witching. Phillies and mares in the gate, ready. And they're off. Super Fire got released just a little bit slowly on her own. Now she rushes up along the fence. The lead is held early for Mind Your Own, who pokes a nose and keeps it on the lead with witching. On that one's outside, now Witching drops off. 
Moving on up towards the inner is not to be denied and backing out of it. Traffic troubles off the on-ramp to the freeway for Superfire, who loses two spots. Out the back is Emily Lane trailing the joint leader, now the lone leader, Mind Your Own, running away from him by almost four lengths. Witching is now a clear-cut second, not to be denied third. On the move is the gray Emily Lane, and going from second to last in the span of two furlongs, Superfire has a lot of running to do to catch Mind Your Own and Alex Bendezu out by four lengths and hits the 330 mark well in front of the others. Here comes Superfire jumping through the bridle, goes in front of Not To Be Denied, who's backing out of it, wandering around as Mind Your Own, but still is clear and will win three to five. Odds on on Mind Your Own. Wins by almost four and a half. Witching got a good second over Superfire in third. Now official with race four prices, 320-260 to win and place on your winner. Mind your own. 640 to place on witching. $2 exacta. $23. dollars Into the winner's circle, steps number three, Mind Your Own and Jockey Alex Bendezu. Co-owned by Ben DeLong and Barry Seidel. Conditioned by Ben DeLong. Jack moves in. Radiant Castle. Eight in the gate at a mile 70. Ready. And they're off. A good even dispatch. Getting the break is Long Station, who's attentive to the early pace. Chernyovsky going to run that one. Showbiz Star will be third and saving the ground past the seven furlong mark they go. Up on the outside, gaining ever so slightly is Draw the Line, able to save some ground in a very good joint fourth spot place position with Antrim's Giant, who's now backing off in fifth. Sixth is Longshot Radiant Castle, having to do about nine lengths better. Talkative Jack is busting through the bridle right now on the inside of that one, and on the wide part comes Joey B. They're getting in closer order as they go down the backstretch run. The pace is on, 25 seconds flat. It's how you do it, though. Showbiz Star, Getting it on right there with Chernovsky. These two not giving an inch to one another now. Backing off his long station. First time at this mile 70 yard distance. Draw the line is fourth. Fifth between rivals is Talkative Jack who's in traffic trouble. Joey B is well positioned on the outside. Also with Antrim's Giant. These two picking him up very, very late. Talkative Jack starting to move up from last with Radiant Castle. And now backing out of it is Draw the Line. New leader past the 550. It's Showbiz Star and Javi Diego throwing it down and getting rid of Chernyovsky, who's still trying to maintain second. It's Antrim's 
Giant up into third. Back into the bridle a bit is Long Station in fourth, trying to gain momentum. And back into it from the rail is Draw the Line. Deep stretch inside the final furlong. It's Showbiz Star. Here comes Long Station on the inside. Jack is starting to move up late into fourth. But it's all Showbiz Star. And here's Antrim's Giant late to go by and win. Antrim's giant surprise showbiz star who'll have to settle for second, then it's Long Station and Chernyavsky stuck it out. Number four, Antrim's giant first at four to one. Number one, Showbiz Star, second at five to one. Number two, Chernovsky was third. Number seven, Long Station was fourth. Four, one, two, and seven. Now official with those payments, Entrim's giant 1040, 620, $4 across. The one showbiz star, 640 to place, 460 to show. Chernovsky maintained third at $8.60. In the winner's circle is Amtrim's giant and the jockey, Corey Orm. Four of them in the gate at three quarters of a mile. The flag is up. Jack and John stirring about. And they're off. Good start. Tis approved and Jirlalama Glory. Tis approved. Not headed at all. And that doesn't bode well for the rest. Tis approved. Alvin Ortiz out to about a length and a half. Now two lengths over Jirlalama Glory and just slowing them right down. City position is third and Jack and John, the 12 year old, out the back. Single file they go down the back stretch, run past the half mile. Opening quarter 23 and two fifths of a second. Easy going so far for Tis Approved, looking for four in a row. Turning it up from second is Jerlalamo Glory, just a little bit off the exhaust pipe. And then back is City Position in third and motoring on. Jack and John still hanging out about seven lengths last, past the two furlong mark. Tis Approved still in hand with Alvin Ortiz calling the shots. Jerlalamo Glory and Victor Santiago calling upon Jerlalamo for everything he has. It's City Position wandering in third and Jack and John nothing, nothing for the rest. Tis Approved got loose and wouldn't be denied. Four consecutive wins to win by three over Jerlalamo Glory. Then it was City Position and Jack and John.
race six now official. End of the winner's circle for the fourth consecutive time. Number four, tis approved. And jockey Alvin Ortiz, owned and trained by Ralph Martinez. Tis approved and Javi Diego moving in as well. M car the fast. Naughty Alfred. Taps big shot, went to the wrong side of the tractor. Moves in behind El Asesino. Two back, the yellow cap belongs to Lantern Casino. And the outside, the Lonesome Dream. In the gate, flag is up. Couple acting up. The six, Naughty Alfred. And away they race. El Asesino on the outside. The Assassin gets loose with Suspect making the debut this 2022 campaign. Now is up to vie for early position. Latin Casino along the rail is third, with fourth going to Naughty Alfred. Outside is Lonesome Dream. Next comes your favorite, WW Crazy. Right in the sandwich there is M Car the Fast, flanked on the far outside, trying to gain ground in the blue, is Taps Big Shot and starts to circumvent. On that lead, a runaway for Suspect, who has dispensed with the hard-ridden El Asesino, who's right back through traffic and is pretty much off the bridle. Lonesome Dream takes over second, trying to get back into it under a drive as El Asesino and does so. In the black cap, Naughty Alfred is trying to wedge through. Hard time traveling for WW Crazy, trying to get a good trip. And now is produced by Victor Santiago. It could be too late, but starting to roll up from fourth and has the mindset to catch Suspect, who's now loose from Latin Casino. And that's how they're going to finish. Suspect to score and pays the pick seven. Latin Casino was second. Disappointing WW Crazy third. And then El Asesino was fourth. Five, four, one, and seven unofficially in race number seven. 25 to one. The four, Lanton Casino, eight to five, second choice. Number one, WW Crazy was third, and then the seven, El Asesino, a very eventful first try over the track, was fourth at six to one. Payments on the big board, 54, 20, 15, 60, and 680 across on your winner. Coming back to the winner's enclosure, 
Winner of the seventh and final this Saturday evening. Number five at 25 to one suspect and jockey Javier Diego. Owned by Wartal Thoroughbreds LLC, John Wainwright, the waning conditioner. Now two for two over this track. Six-year-old gelded son of blame out of Renee's Queen by Aftermarket, bred in Kentucky by Stoneway LLC. Winning time a minute, 13 flat. All eight ran in the seventh and final. 50-cent trifecta, $195.80. 10-cent super, $264.88. That exacta on a $2 ticket, $355.20. 50 cent late pick three, $192.15. And the slick pick seven, $1,384.80. Six of seven, $1,280. The late pick four, four of four, $129.55. From all of us to all of you, to everyone in the racing office, and everyone down below, and to you, the racing fans, thank you again so much. And to those of you, the horsemen and horsewomen that make up these racing cards, thank you all so much. And we'll see you back here on Tuesday at 1 o'clock.